This is a Renekton one trick. And this is me. So for the next 10 hours, I'm gonna try to learn Renekton in three steps. First, normal games. Second, do some research. And finally, third, play some ranked games. I'm doing this because I'm trying to learn every champion so one day I can make the greatest Viego video ever. And spoiler alert, I had so much fun, I decided to play one extra game. And like Destiny, it was Renekton versus Nasus. All right, dramatic foreshadowing aside, what runes and build should I go? For runes, you can either go Press the Attack or Conqueror. Press the Attack gives you crazy burst with your W early game, but falls off later in the game. Conqueror has better scaling and does better in fights, which you will be in a lot as Renekton. I ended up liking Conqueror way more personally, but they both work. For your build, you basically build just a ton of health and damage. You can go Eclipse first, then Black Cleaver, Steric Gauge, Spear of Shoujin, and then a flexible item depending on the enemy team comp. Against tanks, I liked going Blade of the Ruined King first item, but that's the only change I made to the build. And with that, on to some normal games. Game one started off incredible. Within the first five minutes, I pulled off a crazy 1v2 double kill, but forgot to press the record button. Dude, how do I always forget to press the record button when I do a sick play, man? But don't worry, this game still had a ton of action with me killing Aatrox over and over and over again. And to make things even better, I managed to get another 1v2 double kill, so just pretend that's how the start of the game went too. Unfortunately, I got a little ambitious and tried to fight 1v3, and it actually went pretty well, until I messed up my inputs and died trying to get a triple kill. I could've killed him, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it! But things started to really go downhill when I stayed too long for a tower and learned Renekton's E is a little bit shorter than I thought it was. And even though my laning phase was super solid this game, I still had no idea how to play Renekton in teamfights, so late game I kinda just fell apart. Yeah, even after that amazing start, I still lost the game. My next game was against a Heimerdinger top, and let me tell you, for the first several minutes, I was in hell. This is miserable. So I said, fuck this, I'm just gonna go in and try to kill him. And then I killed him 1v1. He's just dead, what the fuck? And once I realized I could just go in and kill him, I killed him again. And since the game was 11 to two, the enemy team surrendered pretty quickly. And in just the first hour of playing Renekton, I was getting really comfortable with his early game. But alas, I still had no idea what to do with this champion in the mid game. And once again, I just started falling apart in team fights. Yeah, that game was kind of rough. But my god, for my last game, did I put on a clinic. This poor Camille just couldn't play the game. If she was on my screen, well, she wasn't gonna be on my screen much longer. But eventually, I got bored killing Camille, so I decided to take my talents elsewhere. Bitch, you're dead! You're dead too! And where you see a 1v5 here, all I can see was kills. I mean, my team did eventually show up, but it started off as a 1v5. And after winning a bunch of fights and getting pretty much every objective, the enemy team surrendered, and I ended with a score of 14, 1, and 6. After two hours of Renekton, I realized I might be the best Renekton player ever. Since I felt pretty confident, I decided to just jump into some ranked games without doing research, and uh, it did not start off too great. He doesn't die for it? No! Oh, that's so bad. But then my inner crocodile came out, and once again, I just started dominating my lane. And for the first 12 or so minutes, this game was looking pretty good. But like in my first game, I got a little overconfident and bit off more than I can chew. Which is crazy, cause I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure crocodiles can chew a lot. Anyway, bad jokes aside, this game was pretty close until we made a really weird Baron call and just kind of all died. Yeah, it was a complete disaster. They ended up getting Baron and winning the game a few minutes later. All right, all right, maybe I should do a little research. So I did some research on YouTube and here's what I found. One, Renekton is super strong early game, but he actually has a really weak level one and kind of level two. I got away with it in normal games, but if I play super aggressively level one and level two, I might get punished in ranked games. Two, there's actually a little animation cancel you can do with your W and your ult. Normally they each have a short animation, but if you press W and then R right after, it cancels the attack animation and could save you a little bit of time. Three, however, even though this animation cancel is cool, sometimes you just wanna ult before you even get into the fight to gain fury for a little bit more burst. Four, speaking of fury, keeping track of it in lane 
is very important. Your best move in a 1v1 is your W. So to start a fight, you should E in with about 40 Fury so you can get 50 and get a big stun. This also applies to your Q if your W is down. And five, Renekton's amazing short trade is E in, auto W Q, and then E away. Again, if you have the right amount of Fury, you can do a lot of damage, and if your opponent's low, you can E forward and then chase him down for a kill. And with that, on to some ranked games. And with my newfound knowledge, I went into my next game determined to win, and oh boy did I deliver. Unfortunately, a little later, Kiana dove me top, but trust me, I will remember this for later. But for now, I'll settle for just killing Ryze again, and again, followed by a few kills in the mid lane, and at this point, I was feeling really good on Renekton. But this game, we had a bit of a problem. And I knew this game was going to be up to me to carry. So I hunted down the enemy Kiana and did what I do best. Fight 1v2 and kill everyone. You're dead, bitch! You're dead too! You can't fight me! I am the crocodile! This game, I knew without Kiana, my team could actually win 4v4, so as long as I kept killing her, my team would just win the game. And a few minutes later, we did just that. Unfortunately, in the next game, I went against my old nemesis. Alawi. I don't know why, but every time I see Alawi, my brain just kind of shuts down and I lose super close fights. Seriously, in pretty much every top lane video, there's at least one game where I misplay and die to Alawi. But luckily, my team came to my rescue after a few minutes and helped me get a much needed shutdown. For the rest of the game, the enemy Alawi just kept split pushing and my team and I just kept killing her. With every kill, I was getting stronger and even though my team was behind, I was starting to think I could carry this game. And a few minutes later, I turned into an absolute monster during a dragon fight. I don't know what came over me, but I was dealing tons of damage and making sure nobody on the enemy team was going to escape. But in the end, it didn't matter. In the final fight, Arcane got caught out and the enemy Kindred melted our entire team. As the game came to an end, I was so mad at myself for losing lane and just couldn't help but think if I had won lane, we would have won the game. And I was so determined to win my next lane, I just ended up throwing that one too. I'm not gonna lie, this game was rough. I put so much pressure on myself after losing the last game, I wasn't playing to learn or have fun. Like Renekton, I was hoping my fury would somehow empower me, I guess. And with our backs against the wall, the enemy team destroying our base, my team and I made our final stand. I saw an opportunity to TP and flank the enemy team, so I took it and by some miracle we managed to get a few kills. But then the enemy team just fell apart and we killed them one by one. And even though this was my worst game yet, my team managed to carry me kicking and screaming to the finish line. Even though we won, I was still pretty tilted and decided to get off for the day. After a good night's sleep, I was ready to win my next game, but it started off a little messy. Things started to look a lot better after the enemy team really messed up a tower dive though, which gave my team two kills. But even though I was strong, the enemy Cassidyn was a fucking unit this game and we were all just powerless to stop him. And even though this game looked kinda close, we got obliterated in the final fight and the Cassidyn just melted our entire team. I mean, the guy was 14, two and nine and was level 16, there was just nothing we could do. I'm sure I'll bounce back next game. Fuck. To be fair, this game actually started off really well. I managed to kill Riven not once, but twice 1v1, and I knew this lane was over. And then my rumble begged me to switch lanes and then immediately died top. And just like that, we went from one winning lane and one losing lane to two losing lanes. This game, I let my frustration get the better of me again. I was so confident in the top lane after the first few minutes, and to have that just get ripped away from me really pissed me off. And just like that, I lost again. I don't know if queuing up for another game was a good idea, but can't end on a loss, am I right? Anyway, this game started off fine. I dove a Lowie and made her miss some minions, which was fine. I swear it's fine. Anyway, a little later, I got behind a Lowie, and as soon as she missed her E, I knew it was my chance to kill her. Luckily, I didn't mess it up this time. In the end, we won this game, and even though I came back and was useful, I won't lie, this was a bit of a team diff. After those rough games, I finally realized what I was doing wrong. I didn't have my gamer glasses on. Poor Nar didn't realize he was playing against a real gamer, I guess. Unfortunately for the enemy team, this game got out of hand when Viego and I won a 2v3. It looked a little close at first, but my Q deleted their health bars, and after that, the fight was just over. Aw, poor Nar isn't even level 6 yet. Silly Nar, Ash can't save you. 
I mean, she was pretty close, but silly Gnar. Okay, okay, enough bullying Gnar. Let's kill the rest of their team. I will admit this fight started off a little bit scary, but as soon as I got into the enemy backline, there was just nothing they could do. I mean, sure, I was stunned for like five years or whatever, but once I was able to move again, Pike and I just killed everyone. Yeah, after that fight, we just kept getting further and further ahead until we eventually just won the game. Hopefully, this is the part of the challenge where I finally start playing well. Well, that's definitely promising. Oh, wow, this is going great. It would be a real shame if I got ganked when I was super low and died right now. Oh, wait. Nope, I'm just better. I don't know what happened at this point, but I was getting extremely comfortable playing Renekton to his absolute limits, getting used to his damage, his healing, and knowing just how aggressive I could play. Okay, I still sometimes push the limits a little bit too far. Oh, fuck me, I overplayed my hand drastically. Anyway, later the enemy team tried to do Baron after killing our jungler, but that turned out to be a terrible idea because the rest of our team just showed up and killed all of them. Yeah, after that fight, we won the rest of the game pretty handily. Just kind of walked into their base and won the game. My next game was interesting. You see, I saw Udyr in Master Yi's jungle, so I spam pinged it. Then I typed to Master Yi to go bot and pinged the enemy red. Since Master Yi didn't listen, he tried to force a gank top when I had nothing up and just died. I would just like to say there is a 0% chance we kill a Warwick here. Then he quit the game. That was just the first 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So we surrendered in 5 minutes and went next. Honestly, that game was so ridiculous. I wasn't really tilted or anything, I just went next. And once again, I got so far ahead that the enemy team couldn't even kill me 1v2. I mean, yeah, it was pretty close, but like I said, I was getting very comfortable playing Renekton in these close fights. But alas, even though I was smashing my lane, the rest of my team was struggling quite a bit. But I knew I could carry fights if given the opportunity. Yeah, even though I was strong, there was no way for me to defend this 1v5. I could have maybe ulted a little bit sooner and maybe killed one more person, but it really didn't matter. Sadly, I lost another game. I mean, despite the loss, I played pretty well and I knew that as long as my teams were decent, I could definitely carry on Renekton. Also, this was like the luckiest level up ever. Yeah, this game we kind of smashed the other team and I think someone on their team went AFK or something because they surrendered before 15 minutes. My next game started a little bit rough, but my Diana ganked my lane and it honestly saved me. After just one gank, I got so far ahead of Pantheon, he just wasn't able to play the game. I would crash the wave, dive him, and then make him lose EXP and gold. To be honest, this game was pretty close for a while, but in the end, it all came down to one fight. Well, less of a fight and more of the enemy team just standing there while we killed all of them. Anyway, we absolutely destroyed the enemy team and no one on our team died. After that, we just walked into the enemy base and won the game. And just like that, we were close to finishing the challenge, but I was having a little bit too much fun at this point. It definitely helped that the enemy team was kind of just giving me kills. What the fuck? <laughs> but there was just something about easily winning these 1v2 fights top lane that made me want to keep playing Renekton, even after the 10 hours were done. And as I continued to kill Set, I decided I would play one final game after this one. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. As I said at the beginning of the video, all of my training came down to this final Renekton versus Nasus matchup and holy fuck this game was close. Doesn't help that I played the first fight terribly. But it's okay, I got back to lane and pretty easily managed to kill him a few minutes later. And things started to look really good when I got a double kill during a fight for grubs. But even though I was winning my lane, the rest of my team was not. But the game didn't really start until we both hit level 11 and our side quest activated. The fight was close, but thanks to Evelyn, we managed to get the kill on Nasus, proving I was the better brother. Now, all there was left to do was win the game. But let me tell you, Nasus was not going down without a fight. And in the blink of an eye, the game seemed lost. With every fight, Nasus just seemed to get stronger and I seemed to get more tilted. Out of nowhere, he was able to just walk into our backline and get a triple kill while I struggled to kill just Bard. And as I watched my team die top, I knew the game was coming to an end. But instead of ending the game, the enemy team decided to do Baron and since I died earlier killing Draven, I had to watch helplessly as my team fought 4v4. And I'm not sure how they did it, but these son of a guns managed to actually win the fight and then get Baron. We were definitely still behind, but now we had something we didn't have before, hope. 
And with that, it all came down to the final fight. We caught out the brand by waiting in a bush, and the enemy team tried to fight 4v5 anyway. The fight could not have gone better. Diana got a huge ult on their front line, Alistar and I dove their back line, and we just destroyed their team with ease. You, my fucking god, were the best! But we miscalculated how much time we had to end the game. The enemy team came back up, killed us, and we lost the game. Kill this! Oh my god, we're gonna lose. And with that, I won my final game. Oh wait, we win! Oh my god, we're the best, we're the best! We are the best! Even though the last 10 seconds were a complete disaster.